All right, all right. So we're starting this over again. So we're having technical difficulties with our screen. So now hopefully we are back on and you can see what's going on. I might actually ask Joe to join in the, the live stream to see what is going on. See, we've got a couple of viewers joining us. Thank you guys for joining. Thank you for bearing with us. Joe, Joe, can you join the live stream and make sure that the video is okay? Thank you. Looks good now, okay, it's good now. Oh, the date is wrong at the top. Yes, I think it's supposed to be four. I'll edit the date. Um, that's easy to do once we're done filming. Thank you for that, Brad P. Looks good now, good. We wanna make sure the footage is good. That's, I'm so sorry to cut everyone short there and have to rejoin, that's annoying. What? It's good, thank you, thank you, Joe. Alrighty, we were looking at Bionicle, but if there's any other requests, please let us know. We will have a look at them and see what we've got in stock. Thank you guys for rejoining. Show any Death Stars? Great question. Sup, everybody? Hello, Jerry. Thanks for joining the, the second live stream today. The first one had a camera issue. Uh, some, some kind of device was trying to connect to the iPad and it shut down the video for us, which was not good. So. We're gonna go look at the Death Star that we have in stock. I think we only have one in stock right now. We've got the Death Star 2 up there. It is new sealed. It's a very nice set. It's up there with our other cool expensive sets on the back wall. We covered that in our first live stream, but uh, we're just kind of breezing through it again. We've already been over it today. Star Wars model team, Minecraft. It's even a cool monkey kid set over there. You got Imperial Star Destroyer, the piano, more model team, classic castle, all sorts of really, really collectible sets up there. Hello, Grumpy J, thank you for joining us. Glad you guys found the, uh, the second live video today. We're having some uh, severe technical issues. Our um, iPad had a connection issue and it, uh, cut the video feed for everyone, but the audio is still playing just fine. So we've reset and uh, we'll resume from here. Yep, it should be all good now though. Thank you guys for joining. We got Jerry Houston, BL, Grumpy J, Will Lamb, Brix Mox Daily, Brad P, Nexus to Zach, and a bunch of others here. Time to call the IT guy, AKA Justin. Yes, Justin, Daniel, and sometimes myself usually can figure out what's wrong. Sometimes you just gotta start over, so. We've got the Lego Movie and the Lego Movie 2 over here. Some very nice sets. These actually have some terrific parts. <laughs> Happy April Fool's Day. You should have started the stream at a Joanne Fabric store or something as a joke. That would have been hilarious. Uh, we could have started it in um, the basement and worked our way back to the store. Uh, no, it wasn't your phone. Everyone else was having that issue as well. So we could tell that that was a, uh, a YouTube slash connection issue. So. Do you have any Mines of Moria Lord of the Rings sets? Uh, we can go look at the Lord of the Rings sets that we have. I'm pretty sure we don't have that particular one in stock right now, but we'll double check. Heading over to Lord of the Rings. If there's anything else that you guys are interested in looking at, please let me know. We'll have plenty of time to check it out. We're only probably 10 minutes into the streaming so far. It's too bad too, because we started out so strong. Everyone was there and now we uh, trying to work our way back up, get ourselves back into the swing of things here. So up here, we've got our Lord of the Rings. And I think we've only got this one Lord of the Rings set right now which is Shelob, featuring Gollum. You've got uh, Frodo and Samwise in there as well. you got Jurassic World right to my left, uh, Tanner. We'll check it out in just a moment. We've got the Dol Guldur Ambush. I always pronounce that wrong. We've got the Mirkwood Elf Army. Very cool. 
We've got the Escape from Mirkwood Spiders, and these are all Hobbit. This is the Lord of the Rings one. Got the Council of Elrond. UPS just delivered the Temple of Erejitsu, and I can't wait to build it tonight. Oh, that's awesome! That is so cool. We're glad it arrived safely. And yes, Temple of Erejitsu, that's a really good set to build. Got the Barrel Escape. Oh, uh, Brad P has a great question. Is your 15% discount on built sets officially over? Yes, that is over. We'll be starting a new sale shortly. Uh, Chris and Joe are discussing it. So yes, but yeah, that sale is over. Um, right now we just got the um, points reward system, which gets you pretty much 5% off of all your purchases once you sign up. So look into that either on the website or in store. Definitely ask your whoever's checking you out. So. Hey, does Joe have the Chima virus? <laughs> we'll have to ask him on the way over there and see. Uh, we've got the Jurassic World Baronix Escape, Indoraptor Rampage. Got a couple of the slightly newer Jurassic World sets here. Got the T-Rex versus Dino Mech Battle. Got the Carnotaurus Dinosaur. Got the Blues Helicopter Pursuit. Pterodon Chase. Sticky Malak Breakout, Dilophosaurus Outpost Attack, Pterodon Escape, Raptor Rescue Truck, Dr. Wu's Lab, a T-Rex Tracker. These are from the first Jurassic World movie. So. Raptor Rampage, Pterodon Capture, Dilophosaurus Ambush, Raptor Escape. There's Tarkor. Hello, Tarkor. Yeah, I think some of these are not online, and uh, the reason they were initially not online is because they're still retail. So we're trying to prioritize sets that are not anywhere else versus sets that you can buy at lego.com or Target or Walmart for the same price. So now that they're starting to be uh, discontinued, we need to add them. So I will tell Joe that we are, Brick Mox Daily is looking for some more Jurassic World sets. So. So I got a couple of the newest ones down here. Well, actually, that one's a little older on the right. Um, Mark, do your best T-Rex roar. Actually, that was terrible. Don't listen to that. Um, Grumpy Jay, steering me wrong. All right, let's see. You, got, you probably answered this a hundred times, but do you do the certified pre-owned stickers come off the boxes? Yes, they do. They remove pretty easily um, from my experience. So even if you have a cool set with a sticker on it, that should peel right off pretty easily yeah so not too bad because a lot of those sets the boxes are almost <laughs> as hard to find as the set themselves so i can't wait for the april 17th jurassic world dominion sets nice tarkors said channel of random things you almost had me for april fools todd <laughs> but it was just some technological difficulties I'm looking for the Indominus Rex. Oh yeah, we do have the we have the Indominus Rex up here in the set. And we should also have the Indominus Rex um, by itself over in our dinosaur section. We'll go check that out really quick. How's it going, Vogan? Oh, okay. Vogan would like to point out to everyone that they've just restocked a bunch of custom figures. Right now he's putting in the Star Wars custom figures, which are really cool. So if you are interested in those, they are very cool. And we've got them all on our website, right? Uh, yep. Pretty much, yeah. So check yeah, out our website, cool. custom minifigures. I think we have a custom Star Wars minifigure section in particular. You can check it out. Howdy, Mark. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, Craig. So glad you're here. Let's see. Indominus Rex. Oh, Indominus Rex versus uh, Indoraptor. This is the original Indominus Rex here. It's very expensive because it only came in one set. It's $130. But I think the newer version is in a set over here. We'll go check it out really quick. The black dinosaur was the Indoraptor. Yes, yes, yes. They shouldn't have named them both Ind... in dinosaurs I got them messed up. Let's see here. Gallimimus, Gallimimus, Gallimimus. So we don't have the newer version of the um, Indominus Rex, but we do have the old version, both in the set 
and in the uh, by itself individually. So if you're just looking for the Indominus Rex, we do have it for sale. Hello, Robert. Thank you for joining us. We sure appreciate it. Sorry, not the world's best speller. Haha. <laughs> no, 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 no. I read that wrong. Indominus Rex versus um, in, um, Indoraptor, which is very different. So. Do they have a custom Heimdall? Pretty sure I spelled that wrong. Yeah, Heimdall from Thor? We can check. Because he was a really cool character, and I don't think they ever made any good figures for him. Let's see. Looking at the Marvel figures. I don't see Heimdall. Oh, these are DC figures, okay. Let's go down here. Got a lot of custom figures, but I don't see Heimdall. Got Iron Fist, you got classic comic cable, you got Juggernaut, Juggernaut's pretty cool. So, don't see Heimdall, thanks for asking, that's a good question. How much for the Mammoth? That should be $50. Let's double check on that. $40 or $50. $49.99 for the Mammoth. So, pretty collectible. A little harder to find now, so. Um, can we look at Monster Fighters? I am DMing a Dungeon & Dragons game tomorrow and need some inspiration for monsters. All right, let's go see what we got for Monster Fighters. We might be a little bit low. Let's see here. Hmm. So, I know we have some of the figures here. We've got the monster fighters themselves right there. You've got the vampires over here. You've got the mummy right there. You've got the man bat. Looks like a couple of them have sold out and we need to restock them. We've also got the crazy scientist and some ghosts. Another man bat in the back as well. So, not seeing any of the sets though. I mean, that might be a little bit of a, a remnant of the set tucked between the Atlantis stuff. Let's see, I know we have the wearable um, Frankenstein monster headgear there in the back. And I think we have the Wicked Witch behind that pirate set. There's a little, uh, not a battle pack, but a little figure pack back there. But other than that, we are out of Monster Fighters. That's just a testament to how popular they are. Say hi to Chris from Will. I'll t let him know. And we've got Nexus asking, yes, from Thor. Thank you. Yeah, sorry, we didn't have Heimdall. Although I'm sure if you got the right pieces, either on Bricklink or in our Build-A-Fig, you could make one. Have you done Bionicle? Yes, we checked out Bionicle. But let's go look at it really quick for you. There's Zion. We actually had some technical difficulties. We had to restart the stream. So that's why we're a few minutes later in sync today. How much is the Wicked Witch? Let me check on that for you because she's kind of behind glass. I'll have to get one of the guys with a key. So not too much change in the bicycle case. However, that little bike did sell. That blue bicycle with the two riders was pretty cool. Alrighty, let's go check on the Wicked Witch price. Thornatus V9 hype, yes, exactly. Ethan, do you have a key I can borrow from you? Yes. Thank you, we're gonna check an item in the case really quick. And if you guys have any questions about any theme set minifigure or item let me know just gonna check on the price of the wicked witch that's tucked away back there there's shane lee hello shane thank you for joining us got hey mark missed all the live shows this week because my kiddos are on break and went went to disneyland for a couple of days enjoyed catching up on all the content oh that's great that's the nice thing about live shows is you don't have to necessarily watch them when they come out although that is the most fun way to do it you can uh, watch them later and see them even if you miss the initial day you can watch the show and enjoy it almost as much let's get the wicked witch out so 29.99 for the wicked witch the zombie and the ghost 
So that is a fantastic deal. And it even has a little seam down there too. How much for the Bionicle car? We'll check on that, Zion. That's a good question. So that was $29.99. Is that $29.30? Yeah, $29.99. I'm reading that right. Can't believe it. That's such a good deal. I'm going to put that right back there. You're welcome. Thank you for the good questions. We want to have stuff to talk about while we're doing these videos. And next, we're going to check out that Bionicle car. And trying to... Have some smooth camera work so you guys don't get too nauseous while watching. Put those keys back for Ethan. Let's check the price on the Bionicle car for Zion. Oh, do y'all have the Back to the Future car? We have the OG version of the uh, DeLorean, but we don't have the new one. And neither does Lego, because they're back ordered as of 9.30 this morning when I checked. So... So if they had them, I would be buying one because they're very cool. You've got this massive vehicle that the Bionicle characters can ride in. It's very cool. This one is $200, so $199.99. Oh, the Thornatus V, hence why the hype. Yes. That's a cool name for a car. That's awesome. You also got this... Uh, what looks like a air skateboard. What's the name of this guy? We got some Bionicle experts here. I know that's the Mask of Life. And it's Toa Inika, I believe. Yes, some of these Bionicle sets have gotten really expensive over the past few years, so they are much more collectible than they used to be. This one is $40. That's pretty nice. It's a little uh, hover bike, or actually it's got a tank tread at the back. And this one, this is a Hero Factory. He's got his own uh, motorbike there. It's very cool. That's Toy Ignika, yeah. He's the physical embodiment of the Mask of Life. Very cool. Yep, so we got a couple of Bionicle vehicles in there. That I think those are probably my favorites, just because Bionicle figures are cool, but when they're riding something, it's very cool. Like, that's just a, that's what Technic was made for. All those vehicles. We've got Dimensions here. How much for the old Back to the Future car? Let's go look at it really quick. It's going to be over in the front. We'll go check it out. How much for the Stormer XL? Oh, I think I missed that one. It's over in Bionicle. Let's see here. We're checking the price of the DeLorean. We've got the, still got the new sealed one. We did have a certified complete one for a while, but that one is sold. That one is $250. So that's a little more expensive than the new one that's coming out. That's huge. But if you want the OG one with the original characters, that's what it is. Let's see. And we had a built one too, but that is now sold as well. Any deals on sealed city, city sets for $30 or under? We should have a couple that fit that criteria for sure. Lots of city sets. Lots of city sets, says Joe. That's right. Tell Joe Dose he can have the... Oh! Uh, Joe, uh, Will Lamb is asking, he's really worried about your health. Um, do you have the Chima virus? No. You don't have the Chima virus? I appreciate it. Okay. No, I'm okay. You're good. You don't have the Chima virus? I got rid of it. You dealt with it. Yeah. Well, you built the set and you got it out of your system. Exactly. He, he infused all the Chima virus cooties into the set. So let's go look at City. Go see what we got under that category. Then Robert is asking about trains too. We'll check those out on the way back. Oh, yes. If you want to come back and show them that in a little bit. Okay, I'll be r right around there. That sounds really cool. So. Alrighty. Have you restocked your Rancors? If not, when do this, when will you do this? Um, 
We haven't restocked them recently. I think we still have one available in the store, but I don't know if they're online. So we probably should look into that and make sure they're available for everyone. I'll mention that to Joe next time we're over there. Are you going to get the Skywalker Saga video game? If it's available on PC, yes, but I think it's mostly for consoles like PlayStation and Xbox, and I don't have any of those. So I would have to wait until it comes out on PC. When do you think you will? Yes, yes. Um, why is Chima a virus? I love <laughs> that. Yes, uh, Chima, well, some people think Chima is a virus, but I think Chima is a set line that was underappreciated back in the day. Uh, that's good, and sorry for the misspelled comment. No problem, yeah, get it out. If yeah, Get it out quickly, that was very timely. Thank you for putting that out there for us. We appreciate it. Hey, can we view Minecraft? We can check that out, Lima Bricks, for sure. We're gonna look for some $30 city sets, though. See what we got here. So that one's $49.99. It's a little more. It's probably more, too. $79.99. Let's see what we got for $30. How much is this one? $29.99. So that's a nice $30 racing car set. They look almost like the Speed Champions, but non-specific brands. Don't forget the Stormer XL. I'll see if I can find it here. Which one is the Stormer XL really quick? Stormer XL. Um, let's get a description of the Stormer XL. So Zion, let me know which one is the Stormer XL and I'll be able to give you a price on it. I don't know the difference. It's Hero Factory, okay. Stormer XL. Giant white hero factor, dude. Ah, okay, that's helpful. Let's see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stormer XL. Ah, the one in the back. Yes, he's back here. He is pretty giant. That's awesome. All right, he is $69.99 for a certified complete, which means all the pieces and everything, instructions are all in there. And it has the original box, which is very cool. So $69.99. Thanks for letting me know, Zion. There we go. Let's look for a few more $30 city sets. I think all these should be under the $30 price, probably $9.99 for the construction vehicle. Got $14.99 for another sports car. You've got $9.99 for a little fire vehicle as well. This is probably just, nope, that's $30 as well. That guy looks scary, see that guy Vito? He looks like a bad dude. He's got the gem too. And this guy's stealing the statue of the fire person in the city. $34.99 for that one. Very cool. It's a little above the $30 budget, but it's it's close. That's $40 for that one. So there's quite a few at that price range. I'd say most city sets are in that, you know, $40 or $50 price range. But yeah. You got a few options. More than a lot of themes. I think we have plenty of city right now, which is good. So. Hey, Mark, how much for the UCS Star Destroyer at the front? Um, that one, I want to say it was $750. We'll ask Joe really quick. He would know off the top of his head. How much for the Imperial Star Destroyer up there? $650. $650? Okay. $650 because... The new ones, a new one would be 700, right? Yeah. yeah. So I was off by a little bit, but that's how much that one goes for. Um, Zion Cinema says, noise. And then uh, Will Lamb says, what Back to the Future car do you think is the best? Well, I think the best one is the custom one that you can make yourself, but the new set looks really good. As soon as I can build one, I'll be able to give you a full breakdown. Um, what do you think of the new yellow on some of the city sets? Oh, the um, brighter yellow color. Let's see if we can give an example for people wondering about it. Maybe we don't have the newest ones. Oh, no, here we go. I think that Robert Maynard is talking about these guys with the kind of emergency yellow lime color. And they're pretty cool. Hello, Brother Steve. Thank you for joining us. CMG, I'm not sure what that stands for, but I'm, I'm interested to know. Let's see, still haven't sold a 2013 Republic, Republic gunship, I see. 
How much are you asking for it? I can check. I'm sure it's very expensive. I'm sure it's several hundred dollars. We'll check on that really quickly. And then I think uh, Robert also asked about trains. So we'll go look at trains. And we also had Minecraft. Um, how much for the Republic gunship? 800, okay. Joe says 800 for a new sealed gunship, which is very expensive, but understandable considering it is from 2013, has amazing figures, minifigure scale, very cool. The new one is really cool too, but that one's kind of like the right scale for figures. So. The new yellow is awesome because it glows under black light. Oh my, I might have to get some of that because that sounds really cool. I love lighting effects in Lego. Black light can really make some Lego, uh, older pieces especially, they just absolutely explode. Not physically, but lighting wise. So. Uh, we're looking at Minecraft for lemur bricks. And uh, Tarkor has a great question. Do you guys remember the plant-based bricks? Did anything actually come out of those? Yes, a lot of the new plant pieces that are being produced are actually made with the plant pieces. And I'm talking about the actual Lego plant shaped pieces. Um, they're kind of rubbery in texture. And because of that, you can actually use the different plastic types to make the pieces. You're also seeing a lot of newer transparent pieces like the, um, in Elsa's ice castle, you have a bunch of like the trans light blue satin color as a kind of a minty semi-transparent look. And those are made with the new plant pieces as well, I'm pretty sure. It's a new prototype plastic matrix, which works pretty well. So, I just bought the ultimate battle for Asgard from you guys. Thanks for the shop tours. I love them. That's awesome. Those are some great sets. So about those Nixo Knights, says Grumpy J. Yeah, they're right there. Check them out on the website. I'm not gonna stay there and just talk about Nexo Knights. You, you, Grumpy J just wants to get my goat today. I'm not gonna let him. Cool, that's great to hear, yes. I think it's a pretty cool step for Lego. And uh, hopefully we'll see more transparent pieces because of all the prototyping and innovations in the plastic field that Lego has been working on. So, Have you seen Star Wars yet? I've seen a couple of Star Wars. Um, yeah, which one are we talking about? Are we talking about the old Star Wars, new Star Wars? Which one are we talking about? It's on PC. Oh, the video game. Yeah, I'll have to play it then. Did you get in a droid gunship? I think we have a built one, but I don't know about um, inbox. So we'll go check the Star Wars section here. Sets, I mean. Oh, oh, we have not seen the Star Wars sets. Yes. I will check those out here. Vogan is restocking custom figures. We did cover that. We got um, some Solo, some Mandalorian. Episode seven. Ooh, and the very nice Rogue Shadow. That one is $199, so $200 for that one. You got the Darth Vader bust. You got the Hoth Echo base. TIE Fighters and First Order Star Destroyers. The Boba Fett bust, the Bad Batch attack shuttle, got a couple from episode 8, you got the land speeder, the pod racer, there's the armored assault tank, the AAT, that's pretty cool, very good Clone Wars era set, got a couple of the juniors, oh and the duel on Mustafar, I'd be grabbing that nowadays for the Obi-Wan figure. He's going to be pretty popular here for another couple weeks. Um, Grumpy J, can I get the can get the goat for 150? LOL. Exactly. Yeah, Craig. Yeah, when uh, Grumpy J is trying to get my goat about next nights, I could just say, "Well, if you want to get my goat, it's 150 dollars over in the animal section." Um, let's look for a droid gunship though, because we were asking about that here. Here's an AAT. The ATST. There's a couple droid vehicles, but I don't see a droid gunship yet. Oh, 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 oh! If this is the droid gunship you're looking for, we have this one. It's 
Doesn't appear to have any instructions with it. It's just the built vehicle. This room is completely full. So pretty cool. How much for the 20th anniversary Anakin's Pod Racer? Great question. Let's go check the price on that really quick. Good question. $49.99. So it's gone up a little bit. I think it probably retailed for $20 or $30. So it's, it's those 20th anniversary sets are just really, really cool. It started to become very collectible. Mark, do you have the Nexonite virus? Because my brother has the Chima virus and the Nexonite virus too. Oh no. Oh no, yeah, I, I definitely um, am still oh, ill real. with the Nexonite virus. I can't get it out of my system, it's just awful. I definitely discourage anyone from buying Nexonite sets, so, you know. Goats, goats, I'd give my kingdom for a goat, says Grumpy J. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so the TIE Fighter Certified Complete is $200, and that seems really expensive, but it's been a while since it came out. It has some very rare figures here. We've got the Mimban Stormtrooper, Han Solo, and Tobias Beckett. So those are some valuable figures in there, and uh, it's a pretty cool set. So, um, do you have this Siboba's Pod Racer? Yeah, um, we have had it in the past. We had it recently, but I'm not seeing it now. I see an Anakin's built Pod Racer down there. That's quickly browse through the Star Wars section, I'm not seeing it. We've got land speeders, Y wings, Kylo Ren vehicles. I don't see Sebulba's pod racer. That's a good one though. Can I do the regular? I have the biotic virus and I'm not looking for a cure. LOL, that's exactly that's that's the spirit. The bionicle virus. Yep. LOL says Will Lamb. Yes. Oh, and there's Joe. How are you doing, Joe? Good. I got the Lord of the Rings virus if we're talking about. You got the Lord of the Rings virus? Like yep. Yep. The virus, I, I got, got the Castle virus way back when. Oh, let me talk about Show these real quick. Then we'll go look at the fantastic. prototype I finished, pieces. I actually just now finished adding them all online. And mm -hmm. so if you guys are interested, just go look on our website. You can see everything we've got. These are very high quality light kits. They mm -hmm. have physical instructions, yeah, which is pretty big deal. Um, they've got battery boxes. They've got all the lights, obviously, that you need. Mm -hmm. Super good quality. I bought one. I bought one for the Infinity Gauntlet. Yep, it's amazing. I, I mean, saw the pictures. It looked it, really good. It is really cool. So I definitely recommend these. They're great quality. Yes. And you know, if you look to light your sets up, there's plenty of options all over. All kinds of themes. So. Yeah, there's like modulars, vehicles, technic. Architecture. Like there's armor, the models. um, Daily Bugle. I know, I've been eyeing that one. That's so cool. That would be amazing. I have the Lord of the Rings Virus 2, Joe, says Will Lamb. Yep. Nice. But yeah, so if you are looking for lighting kits and some very, very nice lighting kits, we do have those in stock. We just got a bunch of them and they're awesome. It's like a fully complete set with instructions, not too hard to follow. So many different, like there's the Ecto-1, the big one. That would be cool. Got a couple questions here. We got, hey Mark, is it true that ABC gives $10 store credit per pound for bulk Lego? Or am I mistaking that for something else? Or does store credit for bulk Lego just depend on what's in it? You, thanks. It really depends. Um, normally it's a little bit lower than that. I wanna say it's in the $2, $3 range generally. But that also depends on what the bulk Lego consists of because if there's a lot of, uh, uh, non Lego stuff like this mixed in the price goes down very quickly because uh, we don't want to be paying for Non Lego pieces that we will throw away. So uh, it really depends on the quality of the pieces themselves it, uh, You can do that on our trading form online or you can bring your stuff into the store and we'll give you a, a pretty accurate estimate and price uh, pretty quickly so Next nights are awesome just because it's not a good replacement for a space or castle or a good backstory doesn't mean it actually sucks <laughs> like Chima. Lots of cool Next Nights pieces and colors. Yes, so Robert brings up a great point. Next Nights is actually really good. It's got some amazing pieces, amazing figures. It did a little bit lack in the story and I don't think it was necessarily a great idea to try to replace Ninjago with Next Nights, but overall some pretty amazing stuff came out of Next Nights. We're gonna go look at what Daniel is working on back ah, here. Hello, everybody. How are you doing, Daniel? I'm doing well. How about yourself, Mark? Doing pretty good. We've got some 
very rare non-production parts here. So these are parts that never appeared in this color in any official Lego sets. So these would have been produced for uh, master builder models um, or like the large models that you would see in like Legoland or things mm -hmm. like that. Like Discovery Centers and yeah, things like that. that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So here we've got things like two by six bricks in trans orange. Oh my gosh. Those are very cool. We've got two by four plates in flat silver. I don't know if you can see the shine on those at all. A little bit, yes. Uh, we've also got... That. that is amazing. They're That's mind-blowing. Cool. That's awesome. Two by four plates in light nougat. Mm-hmm. All kinds of awesome stuff. Wow. So, Flash to me. <laughs> I'm getting these mm -hmm. up on the website, and they will be for sale very soon. And those will be on our BrickLink store? Uh, these will be on... Uh, or our Shopify, website. On oh, okay, website. so on yes. atlbrick.com... Mm -hmm. You'll be able to buy these by the piece. These by the piece. That's nice. right. They will be fairly expensive because they are hard to get. Yeah. But, you know, if you're a budding uh, non-production parts collector, this would be mm -hmm. a very good way to get started. Yeah. Because this could theoretically be the only bag of two by four flat silver plates in the country, right? It very well could be. Yeah. Unless some other master builder puts in a special request for Lego to produce those ever again. Yeah. Who knows? So pretty rare, cool stuff here. That's awesome. Yeah. Thanks for Did, coming uh, to check it out. Is anybody asking where we got these or how we um, got them? No questions on that. There's other questions yeah. bopping, but a lot of people are like, wow, this I'm, is cool. I'm so. sure somebody wants to know, so mm -hmm. uh, they might be watching this later, so ask me, Mark. Yeah. Chris, how did we get all these amazing rare pieces? These rare pieces? Well, everybody knows that um, Brad Pitt is a big fan of Lego, mm -hmm. and I guess these are extra parts that he had, Yeah, and he just dropped them off one day. That's pretty cool. I didn't yeah. get to see him, but uh, is he nice? I don't is... know. I didn't get to meet him. He just said, uh, enjoy, Oh, he, he, he left them on the step. He was dealing yeah. with Ed, not you? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll have to ask Ed how Brad Pitt was, step for us. what it was like. In Maybe he got an autograph. Yeah. We don't know. Atlanta Brick Co. home for Wayward Lego. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, he, he only wanted to trade him in here, nowhere else. Yeah, yeah that's of good. Course, of course, this yeah. is the place to be. This is it. Yeah, okay. That, you asked, though. That's, that's a, a great question. It's an interesting yeah. story. <laughs> great story, and hopefully he stops by again, because I'd love to get an autograph. Brad Pitt is cool. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, yep. Daniel. All right, so we had a couple questions come up while we were doing that. Let's see. Have you been to the Hobbit Lord of the Rings section? Yes, we have. Amen, Robert. Amen, Grumpy Jay. Oh, tell Chris hi from Will. Hey, Chris. Will Lamb says hi, by the way. Oh, hey, what's up, Will? Yep. He wanted to say hi, and he said hi to Joe, too, and was asking about the Chima virus. Okay, and, great. Yeah, so. Good. All right. They sold Ed's soul for the pieces. <laughs> exactly. That's what happened. That's absolutely what happened. April Fool's is Brad P. Yep. Always April Fool's around here. They got me bad. Uh, trains. Oh, Robert. Yes, thank you. We'll look at trains before I go back into Star Wars. Uh, Julia asks, hey, Mark, do you have any Fabuland sets? I'm pretty sure we are uh, fresh out of Fabuland right now. Because it, we've had a few in the past, and they were put right in this area. But right now, it looks like we just got Duplo and Friends and Trolls and other stuff like that. So. so I don't see any Fabuland right now. Sorry about that, but yeah. Definitely worth checking. We do get new stuff every day. So. Oh, sometimes the comment's getting cut off. Oh, there you go. Nexo Shield, Speeders, Hidden Side, Ape, AR, App, or OG Ninja Speeders, which theme gimmick is better? That's a great question. We'll discuss that in a moment. We've got some train stuff for Robert over here. We've got the Crocodile Locomotive. Uh, we've got some train cars. We've got the city, it looks like kind of like a monorail slash uh, city train. It's $59.99. You got more train cars. You got a cargo train in the back for $100. You've got the custom BNSF over here with custom track. You got a few more train cars. Some of them appear to be custom train cars. You got a city high speed train down here for $189. You got an old school custom, uh, this isn't custom, this is a set. Is a train engine right here. It even has the old battery box in the bottom. Got a few more train cars over here. An Octane train car in the front. And back to Tarkor's question. Um, those are some great uh, like physical play features slash gimmicks included in the various set lines released over the few years. Um, 
I think as far as functionality, I think Nexonites actually wins that because they got rid of the Ninjago spinners pretty quickly and the speed ores of Chima didn't last more than one season. The Hidden Side app, you know, the Hidden Side didn't make it very far either, but uh, the Nexo shields happened through all three of the Nexo Knight waves. So I would say the Nexo Knight actually wins that gimmick battle. Do you have the Sonic set? I don't think we have the newest Sonic set in stock right now. What type of architecture sets do you have? That's a great question, John McDonald. We'll go check it out in a minute. There's another terrain car. There's another cargo train engine right there for $100. It looks like you could get a couple different train engines for $100, so that's pretty cool. Got some more train cars down there. They're all in the $60 range-ish. I think the one in the back is $70. You've got um, some Lego City trains here. You've got the Hogwarts train there as well. You've got a couple um, 9 volt pieces, a couple train chassis. A lot of those train parts are still on our website. Some of them are going to be out of stock though. So. A few more train chassis down there as well. Can we look at the custom Marvel figures? Please and thanks. Yes, we can, Madeline. Let's go look at that really quick. Then we'll check out architecture because it's on the way. Oh, go for it, Chris. Oh. Have you ever had a Republic Bricks mock come into the store? I don't think so. But uh, we do get custom stuff, either mocks, uh, custom printed figures, all sorts of stuff that kind of doesn't fit any other classification. So, nothing like walking around Wally, War Wally World looking at Lego. Well, listening and watching Lego here, insert Evil F. What a world we live in. Yes, technology is amazing sometimes, except for this morning, actually, excuse me, earlier today when the stream got cut short because of technical difficulties. That wasn't so fun. But most of the time it works great. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. We sure appreciate it. Hello, Leo. Hope you're doing well. We're currently looking at the custom printed Marvel figures for Madeline. I am very, very late, so I may watch the entire stream late tonight when I'm finished work. That's okay, BJ. We got interrupted early on in the stream. We had to restart because of uh, technical difficulties, so we're a little desynced as well. No worries. You can always rewatch it later. And we have a ton of custom printed figures here. These are all in the Marvel theme. So you got the Marvel comics right there. You got Deadpool. I love the custom Electro with his headgear. He looks comic accurate and absolutely ridiculous. Oh, and my man Brad P pointing out, folks, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Um, it really helps the channel and the store. You are so right, Brad P. Thank you for mentioning that. If you haven't hit that like button, go ahead and smash that like button because it helps so much. And it's free. I mean, you can like as many videos as you want. It doesn't hurt. It's great. Oh, this is another cool one. This is Kang the Conqueror. And he was briefly touched on in the Loki series, so that's pretty cool. You've got Dynamic Productions. Hello, Mark. Hello, Dynamic Productions. Hope you're having a great day. Thanks for joining us. And this is DC up here. Because I think Dr. Fate is DC, right? And Black Adam and Shazam. Those are cool. Pretty cool figures. Let's go down here. Green Lantern. Got a couple of different versions of Green Lantern, actually. Got the Flash. You got Nightwing, the Joker. Pretty cool. Do you all have Helm's Deep? I don't think so, Will Lamb. I'll, I'll check with Joe, but I'm pretty sure we're out of those. Let's go ask Joe really quick. Those gets asked like every stream, but do you have any Indiana Jones sets? I think we're all out of those, too. And no Helm's Deep? Yep, they're just too darn popular. They're too amazing. What was that? Lego's never made anything Paw Patrol related. That's too bad. Yeah. Oh, uh, can you show custom Star Wars figs? Yes, let's go over and look at those. He just restocked them, so they look really good. The custom Star Wars figures look great right now because uh, Vogan just put them all out, ready to go. And then uh, Brother Steve has a question about Han Solo and Carbonite, we should have several of those. Those are relatively easy to get still, thankfully. You've got a ton of Star Wars figures. I'm just going to point out some of the really cool ones here. You've got 
the Rebel Paz Vizla. That's amazing. Look at that. That armor looks cool. You've got the Surgeon Rusk. You got Dirge. Very cool. <laughs> Yariel Poof. A super tall Jedi Master. Got some Mandalorian looking people here. Got Sassi Tin, Sabine Wren, Epic Sabine Wren, Sith Alkalite. That's cool. Let's go this way, Elijah. Come on, get out of his way. Oh, excuse me, buddy. Please, Elijah. Oh, one of my personal favorites Darth Nihilus. He is pretty cool. I read a brief story about him where he flies around the galaxy in a wrecked ship that he holds together with the power of the Force. That's pretty awesome. All right. Um, let's see here. Uh, Indiana Jones sets. We covered that. We don't have any Indiana Jones sets. Uh, we look for a Han Solo and Carbonite. Let's go look for that really quick. What are you doing? We're Shh. doing a live stream. He has a customer that he's talking to. He exactly. Let's see, Han Solo and Carbonite. Han Solo. I thought we had one, but maybe we don't. I'll have to ask Joe. We'll go slow and look and stop at Ashley's shop and look and see what's up here. Let's see. I see Ninja Turtles. I know Ninja Turtles. See, Leonardo. Leonardo. So I didn't see Han Solo and Carbonite. Uh, Mark, would you do live streams on Tuesday and Chris should do them on Friday? Best of both worlds. That would be fun. I think Chris likes to do other things than live streams, unfortunately. But uh, I know Daniel is ready to do some live streams, so we could have him do a few. Um, do we have any Han Solo and Carbonite figures or that little piece? Yeah, we have those. Do we, what price should those be around? Like $8? I think it's about 8 or $10. So $7.99, $9.99? So, um, yeah, Brother Steve, definitely look up Carbonite on our website. It should come right up. Yep. So. Um, hello, everyone. Hope you're all doing well. This is Miss Bricks. Thank you for joining us. We sure appreciate it. Do you all have the malevolence? No. We had it about uh, two months ago, but it has since sold. That's a nice looking Greedo. Yes, it is. Those custom figures are awesome. Who makes the custom figs and how are they made? Okay, so they're made by Big Kid Bricks, which is a small business friend of ours and we're a reseller of them um, he uses uv printing which is more durable than pad printing so they're very 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 high quality and they're a little expensive because of that each one is hand printed so they're generally in the 20 or 30 dollar range sometimes more if they have really expensive printing on them. oh and john was asking about architecture thank you for bringing that up again let's go take a quick glance at architecture can you go over the sealed Star Wars sets, please? We kind of went over those earlier, Rocco. So if you're able to, I would scroll back and look for those. Um, we kind of covered most of the Star Wars sets earlier, so. Let's see. Wish I, we had a store like this near me. Yes, I wish there was a store like this when I was a kid. I would have gotten a lot more Lego. So we have quite a few architecture sets in stock right now. We got Falling Water, Certified Complete. You've got the Buckingham Palace. You've got quite a few Frank Lloyd Wright buildings here. You've got the White House, that's the old one. You've got the uh, Brandenburg Gate. you got the Great Wall of China, a couple of them. Another Brandenburg Gate. And what is this here? That looks like Trafalgar Square, of course. Some of these I don't know off the top of my head. This looks like Dubai. It's very nice. We've got London up here. We've got Paris and the big White House. Very cool. Another Dubai, another Paris. Empire State Building, the big Empire State Building up here. Let's make sure you guys can see it. We've got the Sears Tower in Chicago, or I should say, formerly known as the Sears Tower. Ninjago, we'll check out Ninjago. Got the uh, Villa Savoy? How's that? 
Ville Savoy, looks like. I'm not good at French pronunciations. We got the Architecture Studio boxes up there too. Very cool. Dragon Ball Heroes, we will take a look at Ninjago for you. We're just covering architecture really quick. So quite a few of the built sets as well. Unfortunately, the built set sale is not happening anymore. That ended yesterday in March. But uh, we will be having another sale shortly. So keep an eye out on our social medias for that. Let's go look at Ninjago for Dragon Ball Heroes. Let's see here. Got a bunch of built Ninjago sets here. Got some dragons, some vehicles. That's a pretty epic dragon right there. $69.99 for a huge built dragon. Got rhinos, you got vehicles, you got mechs. You've got some Ninjago figures. These are all on our website. So if you want any of these particular characters, definitely look up the uh, Ninjago minifigure section of our website. There we go. Some built Ninjago here. And look at that guy. He looks really epic. With his huge sword and his hands and his cool helmet. That's awesome. And Jago has some of the best mechs that LEGO has ever made. And let's check out the Ninjago sets very briefly. And then we'll go check on the price of Falling Water for uh, Robert. And Madeline has a great question here. What's the coolest mock you've seen someone build from a picker brick table in the store? Okay, so one of our uh, customers once made a huge brick built uh, sign that said uh, Zelda, like Legends of Zelda. And it was gorgeous. It was really cool. It was just gray and red bricks, but it looked amazing. I, I, I think I had a picture years ago, but um, yeah, it was cool. And he just built it and bought it. And we're like, that is amazing. I wish we had the time to do that. That was so cool. Um, let's see, how much for the falling water? Let's check on that for you. Uh, John and Robert were asking about it. So, Hey, have y'all played music in the store? We have. Um, it's, you gotta be careful with copyright, so we have gone to playing our YouTube channel in the store instead. So it's a little bit of a background noise. It's four fifty for the Falling Water, that's certified complete. The box is in pretty good shape too. So that's very nice. That should be on our website, if it's Can not. Can I please have that, that set to see? There it is. Pretty cool. What is that? I don't know. <laughs> One of our customers is looking at the set. So. Got Burj Khalifa there as well. Meant to say mechs, not mocks. Oh, excuse me, guys. All right, Ninjago mocks. Mechs can be cool, but a lot of them feel samey. Still love the theme, yes. Sometimes they're going into a pattern with those mechs for sure. Meant to say mechs, not mocks, gotcha. All right, let's quickly look at some of these cool figures over here. Got some Comic-Con figures. These are all on our website. You gotta check them out. And we've got the Cloud City Boba Fett. Very rare and very expensive. Don't know if you can see that price tag. Got some more poly bags down here. Don't always cover this section in the live stream. Wanted to show it really quickly. We've got a bunch of Friends sets and some Disney sets down the bottom here. And these are now mostly on our website as well. <laughs> LOL Falling Water sold. Well, sometimes it's not sold. Sometimes the customer is just checking it out. So until it says sold on the website, you should be good. So. Got uh, our poly bag section over here. Looks like they've already emptied out a few of them on the top. So there was clearly some poly bags that were collectible enough to just buy all of them. Very cool. I like that uh, Shang-Chi. That's pretty nice. Dragon and minifigure for $7.99. All right, so we're at 55 minutes here. And uh, we had uh, about 10 minutes from the previous live stream as well. So um, we are now pretty much at the hour mark. 
so let's see is the orange technic gt3 porsche a sealed set yes it is so that's a very very cool set that's going to be on our website as well it's way over there above vogan it's very expensive though because it's sealed so have you been to mission mars yet have not i want to check it out at some point any pirate sets we'll look at pirates and that'll be the last thing for the day but uh thank you guys so much for tuning in thanks for hitting that like button we sure appreciate it if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I'd highly recommend you do so. We got plenty of cool videos coming out this weekend and next week. So let's have a look at our pirates. We've got, first of all, the pirate minifigures. Got some blue coats, red coats, buccaneers, and tribal islanders as well. We've got a couple of the newer pirate sets kind of interspersed with all the old pirate sets. I mean, look at that cool rowboat. That's awesome. And that one's new seal. That's why the price has been up. Been a pleasant stream today. So you guys deserve a like. Oh, thanks, Tarkor. We appreciate it. Always trying to have a pleasant live stream so you guys can see what we've got in the store and just hang out if you like, too. Thanks, Mark. And great show last night building the ship. Thanks. Yes. So for those of you who don't know, Steven has a um, live stream every Thursday night at 630. He couldn't make it this week though, so I was filling in for him. We had a great time building a ship that was, I think it's this set, but it was a certified complete one, so that was pretty fun. So man, so glad I managed to catch a live stream. Thank you for showing us around. Take care all. Thank you, Miss Bricks. Thank you so much for joining us. We are going to now call it a day, so thank you guys so much. Oh, Bionicle for next week's poll, yes. We will add Bionicle and Technic to the poll. Hopefully we have some cool sets to build from those themes. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. We sure appreciate it. Um, thanks for commenting, liking. We are so grateful, and we will see you guys next time. Alrighty, bye-bye.